I think that uh, experience is pretty important when you're playing uh, the number one side in world rugby. So uh, in terms of we've got selection this evening, so I'm sure it won't be a short one. It'll be a difficult selection meeting because we feel that players who obviously put their hands up uh, for us on the weekend, uh, as well as players who've done well in recent games. Dan Bigger, Lee Halfpenny and John Davis are back in training for so uh, obviously we've got some games this afternoon. <coughs> Jonathan uh, needs to go through some uh, protocol with contact but we're very hopeful that uh, he'll be up and running. Lee Halfpenny uh, has got his last protocol this afternoon regarding his uh, head uh, but uh, touch wood everything should be fine. So international rugby is about selection, uh, is getting your selection right. And it's important, uh, you know, all those factors we've just spoke about and more will be discussed today. And uh, obviously we need to pick the right side, you know, against probably, uh, you know, a different 15 that played against Scotland on the weekend. Liam's come in on form, uh, so it's, it's good to have a player like Liam against uh, a world-class goal kicker in Lee Halfpenny. Uh, Lions... Man of the series 2013, you know, and uh, you know he's conscientious as ever over the last sort of week since his injury. He's been doing his homework as as much as he's been able to. So uh, yeah, I was going to say I'm looking forward to the conversations tonight, really, with the coaches. You know, I think that uh, you know the performance on the weekend from some of our players. Uh, I think we were disappointed with certain standards, uh, and then obviously you you have to react, uh, but. Is obviously making that sensible decision. You know that backline uh, is pretty experienced at this moment in time. Over the last two years, they played in Lions series, and uh, obviously the New Zealand game will be a far different mindset to uh, last week. Hopefully, uh, you know that that's a disappointment for me was uh, our emotional levels, and our emotional levels actually then resulted in, in, in failure of tactical and tactical uh, technical acquisition on the field and uh, you know, that's disappointing and you know we've discussed that post game and uh, obviously you know we need to move on you know we've made errors in the game and I'm sure those errors won't be made against New Zealand on the, on the weekend I think the uh, the key to the international game or the game of rugby is to keep hold of the ball and whilst uh, I think at half time in terms of creating opportunities, you know, we you know, we scored a great try in the first five minutes. Uh, but our inability uh, to keep hold of the ball when you're playing the international game is key and uh, there were a number of rips from our players one on one. So they weren't even in contact tackle situations, so it wasn't even that, you know, we were being uh, they were being smart in the contact area in terms of tackles. I think that uh, we were just losing the ball, which as a result, uh, I think it was something like 26 to 30 times we've lost the ball in turnover situations. And the one thing in international rugby, you work so hard to put systems in place to, to win the ball at line out and scrum. The key is respect the ball and keep hold of the ball. And uh, Certainly, we didn't respect that ball uh, on Saturday against Fiji, and uh, bizarre turnovers, some of them, uh, very bizarre turnovers, and uh, I'm sure that uh, we'll be better this weekend.